Hi, Tony Poulos here at TM Forum's Digital Transformation World in Nice. Today I have with me Peter Leukert from Deutsche Telekom and Meinhof Henk from Expo. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you for being with me. Firstly, Peter, if I could start with you. As CSPs evolve into digital service providers to maximise their ROI in 5G, how do they ensure that their network infrastructure and the network enhancements that are required integrate seamlessly with their existing legacy equipment? Yeah, that is indeed a, a big challenge. We want to continue to give our existing customers better service yeah, and create new services like campus networks, whatever. So the, the integration is a big challenge and we do that on several levels. Yeah, We do it sort of and the and on the site level, yeah, uh, in some areas where we install the additional antennas, yeah, and we do it, of course, in the core and in the uh, in the, in the transport. So we have to do it at, at all layers, and it's just our I would say it's just our constant engineering work that we have to do. And Meinhof, if I could ask you, what are the challenges in the BSS OSS arena as CSPs roll into the 5G services to their consumers and enterprise customers, and how do they address them? Yeah, so the, the, the point is that uh, a lot of processes and a lot of doings were manual in the past. So a change process, as an example, to implement something new into the network that was done in a, in a testing in a lab, testing in a first site application and then rolling out. And this is done in future by, by an orchestrator, the decision is done. So the, in, in, a customer is demanding a new service online and then the orchestrator decides, I need this. And this is something you need to automate. You need to automate your OSS and your assurance. And this is where we can help. Peter, as a CSP, what do you need from your vendor partners to help you accelerate that network transformation? Well, quite a, quite a bit, actually, so I'm, I don't envy you. It's a, a lot we demand from you. So, number one, a move to open architectures, truly open architectures, yeah, interoperability, yeah, the ability to also work with others, yeah, and uh, embrace uh, open standards like the uh, Telemail Management Forum Open APIs. And Meinhof, if I could ask you, as a vendor, what are you doing to help your CSP customers accelerate their network transformation? So to tackle all the challenges what is, uh, which are coming with the new technologies. Because the CSP want, especially in 5G, they want to do additional revenue, additional services on top of their, of their current networks and on, on top of the 5G networks. So this is something where they need to ensure the quality they offer to the customers. Right? And, the, and, the, and, and the customer might have an SLA between the operator, between the CSP. So also this, we need to, we need to be able to ensure this for the CSPs um, that they can see at the end of the month what was the service I got as a customer and what was the service I delivered. And this not only on a monthly base, also on the moment that you can directly, automatically, yeah, in fear if there, is, uh, if there is something going wrong in the network. And finally, gentlemen, what can standards organizations such as the TMF do to help the industry as a whole in this transformational journey? Uh, Peter, let's start with you. I think the TM Forum is much more than a standards organization. It's a platform for collaboration, uh, and that's where we add value because we bring together the different CSPs, but we also bring together the CSPs with the vendors, increasingly also with our partners in industry, in the verticals, to number one, understand each other better, and then really go into co-creation mode and create solutions that actually work for everyone. Yeah, so collaboration is, a, is the right word. So this is something that happens here at TMF. And as uh, Peter mentioned before, so the um, open API is uh, very important uh, so that uh, we as a vendor can support this. Um, and also the ODA, so the open digital architecture as a platform. Uh, this is definitely something that will help to, uh, uh, to create the new world uh, we, are, we are now going into. Gentlemen, thank you both for being with me today. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You.